This is your Peace News for Saturday, June 29th, 2013. Silver is trading at $20 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at $94 per Bitcoin. Citizens United is a conservative nonprofit based in Washington, D.C. Yesterday, they put out an advertisement for a petition to abolish the IRS. The YouTube video is featured at the website abolishnow.com, where the top heading, next to a picture of Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, reads, quote, Abolish the IRS. It all starts here. Just what exactly starts here? The conversation about the nature of taxation. Of course, this petition will probably not abolish the IRS, but it will be the launching point for discussions about taxes. Can people defend themselves from invasion without income taxes? Can welfare, charities, and public services be funded on a truly voluntary basis? These are questions that people need to be asking if we want a free and prosperous society. But it doesn't start with telling people that taxes are theft, although that's true. It starts by suggesting something much less radical, suggesting that the IRS is unnecessary. Sign the petition if you wish, or just pass around the video to some of your friends and see if you can't have some productive conversations. Remember, if you own your life, then you own the fruits of your labor. Read and sign the petition at abolishnow.com. All that's required is your name, email address, and zip code. In a related story, Rand Paul recently mentioned the Bearcat in in Keene, New Hampshire, as an example of government waste before a Senate committee. The blurb was captured by MoxNews.com and can be seen in the link in these show notes. Regular listeners of Peace News will remember that the armored attack truck, called the Bearcat, was so unpopular in the city of Keene that residents flooded City Hall for two consecutive council meetings, so much so that the fire marshal was called in to regulate the number of people in attendance. It is a mark of achievement for Free Keene, the Shire Society, and all involved in the Bearcat issue to be mentioned in this way. All of that noise was not for nothing, and the example set by the peaceful people of Keene is having a lasting impact as a quintessential example of unpopular government waste. Learn more at freekeen.com and consider moving to Keene in the Shire. Are you still using Federal Reserve notes? Don't you know there's a better way? Bitcoin is the world's largest alternative currency. Dollars fund wars of aggression against against peaceful people worldwide. Unlike dollars, Bitcoin is decentralized. Using the government's money keeps the government afloat. Let them sink. Get started using Bitcoin today. Visit weusecoins.com to learn more about this empowering new currency. CNN reports that a federal grand jury has returned a 30-count indictment against Tsokar Tsarnaev, the surviving suspect in the Boston Marathon bombings. Tsarnaev is charged with killing four people, three spectators who died in the bombings and an MIT police officer ambushed in his cruiser a few days later, and, quote, maiming, burning, and wounding scores of others, according to prosecutor Carmen Ortiz. Speaking of pressure cookers, how'd you like to ditch cooking forever? No more groceries, doing dishes, deciding what to eat, no more endless conversations about the merits of gluten-free, pescatarianism, paleo, or vegan. What if you could lower your power and water bills all while saving hours in your day and hundreds of dollars per month. Rob Reinhardt is doing just that with his new invention, Soylent. Soylent is a mixture of everything the body needs, that we know of anyway. Vitamins, minerals, macronutrients like essential amino acids, carbohydrates, and fat. Rob has been drinking his creation for six weeks, only having about two conventional meals per week. He says that the concoction gives a complete sensation, and he hasn't gotten tired of the taste. Rob calls eating a leisure activity, like going to the movies, and says he doesn't want to go to the movies three times a day. Quote, I don't miss the rotary telephone, and I don't miss food. Rob's creation has amazing implications for the third world, where acquiring enough food to live continues to be a daily struggle for billions of people. And speaking of using technology to help those less fortunate, Buttercup, a duckling born with a backwards foot, could only walk in great pain until his owner used a 3D printer to make a ducky prosthetic. You can follow Buttercup's journey and that of the prosthetics creators at their Facebook page. Links are in the show notes. This has been Peace News, your daily update on the peaceful evolution. Get more Peace News on the next news network. And for daily videos, subscribe at youtube.com slash peacenewsnow. For peacenewsnow.com, I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.